one. Hey guys, Miles Lonely Michael here, the one and the only. Welcome back to another episode of what I just played. I've been doing a lot of these videos lately. I did Evil Thin, Evil Thin 2. I invite you to check those out as uh, this show is more of a reflection of what I thought about a game that I most recently played, or sometimes it's an older game that I go over and maybe just never got a chance to talk about. In this video, uh, this is a game I recently finished about a week ago, and um, I'm going to give you a, basically, like I said, a reflection, my final thoughts, what I liked about the game and what I did not like. And so, before I get in though, a little bit of housekeeping for you. Uh, if you have not yet, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, I do all sorts of different stuff on YouTube, uh, of course aside from this show, I do another show weekly called Raider Radio, where I go over a all things media and everything in between, a different topic every week, so uh, that's going to come out um, about the same time as this video, if not about a day after, but I do that, I do some music, I do all sorts of video game videos, so definitely subscribe if you want more content from me, and of course, don't be afraid to comment about this game at the very end of the video, but I'll remind you of that later, so last but not least, in the housekeeping there's a um uh, there's a sorry I'm, uh, I'm having a day here you can find me on the web at dark underscore tower 19 on instagram that's dark underscore tower 19 there i post um insider stuff for the show you know um typical selfies and i just get rid of my mirror shield i believe i did but it doesn't matter because i have zeus's lightning bolt and we're gonna have all sorts of debauchery going on in this in this video because it's just great so yep, Dark underscore Tower 19 for the last time. Go ahead and follow me on there for all sorts of goodies. And without further ado, guys, let's get into it. So this game is called... Now, forgive me, because I don't know if uh, exactly how to pronounce this game. Uh, it's either Apothean. I believe it's pronounced Apothean or Apathion. Uh, one of the two. Um, this guy's going to try to stop me because I'm slaughtering everybody. I don't care. I'm, just, I'm not going to give into his crap. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fight back. So that's that's the thing I like. So yeah, this game is a online only game on the PSN. I'm not sure if it's on the Xbox, but I did get it uh, about a year ago when I started it, and then I sort of lost interest and I just didn't pick it up again until recently. So like I said, I've had more time lately uh, before I started this new job to play through a lot of games I hadn't before, and this was one of them. And uh, well, well, a real quick show update here for across all YouTube. Hopefully I'm going to invest in a better mic soon so it won't sound like I'm talking through a muffled pillow. I know that audio is pretty annoying. It's probably a reason why I don't get as many views as I would like. But uh, without further ado, I've already got distracted. You say, oh, geez, this guy gets distracted a lot. Yeah, I do. That's just uh, sort of part of the show. One of my uh, niches is part of who I am. You know, I get, get distracted, especially when I'm playing a good game. Sometimes it's not always a good game. And how dare he blow his horn and try to get more guards over here? He, he's, he's done. Um, uh, like, they all do not stand a chance because this is basically right before the last boss. So I have Zeus's power and I can just have, I have unlimited lightning bolts and I can do basically kill one shot whatever I want which is awesome I'm gonna try to find the quick travel thing so I can go somewhere and kill all the monsters I don't even know if I can though is the problem because I'm at endgame I'm not sure if there's sort of a lock on fast travel once you get to endgame I don't believe so but we're going to find out it's all the way over here but yeah a Apathion what did I think about this game well I did like this game quite a bit, to be honest with you. Uh, it surprised me in a lot of ways. Let's let's talk about first. You're obviously looking at the art style. I love the art style of this game. It's very old school in a way. It kind of reminds me of an old school Super Nintendo game, but at the same time, it's very colorful. It's very like you're looking at a a scroll or a painting of old Greek mythos, basically. And I like it a lot. Some people are really turned off by this game's art style. But it's so unique, I've never seen an art style quite like this. And it, it gets even better, too, because this is only one environment you're seeing here. Uh, if I'm able to fast travel, I'll show you uh, some, something a little bit different to show you sort of the diversity they have uh, and all the work they put into this game as far as making environments look very Greek-like and, uh, you know, that old style. Again, you know, we have whales and crabs and all sorts of uh, Greek people walking around and all sorts of Greek gods. And it's just a very beautiful style, and I love the, the blood that's in there that when you, uh, when you take out somebody... It's just really nice, it's very visually appealing, and it's like that throughout the whole game. I never found an area that was derivative of an area before, or that looked, you know, off, or that wasn't unique in its own way. They're all very unique, they all feel very organic. 
which is, which gives this game a lot of charm. Um, so that's something that made me like it kind of right off the bat. So now let's get into a little bit the story. I'll just go through a basic uh, rundown. So you play as a Greek warrior. He's a man uh, named Nicandrios, and this is very God of War reminiscent. And basically, your the gods have given up. The Greek gods have given up on humanity, and your hometown is falling into ruin because the gods are no longer supporting it. And so it's your job to you make a deal with a goddess and you basically say you're going to go to uh, Mount Olympus, which is where we are, we're on the very bottom, uh, in the Agoria, and you have to basically take out all of the, not all of the Greek gods, but a majority of the Greek gods, get their powers, and then uh, your goal is to overthrow Zeus from the throne and basically have, I believe it's Hera who you make a deal with. But along the way, Nicandrios gets very powerful and you can you can kind of make him a good guy or a bad guy. I made him uh, more of a bad guy because you can kind of corrupt him with the powers of the gods, or you can choose to sort of not kill innocents and uh, only kill the bad guys. But again, it is up to you. And um, so it's kind of like a choice-based system that they don't really tell you about. It's kind of just there. Oh, and I can't travel, so I guess we'll just be killing people uh, in here in this video, which is fine. It's still really funny and entertaining. But in here... And it's funny, so he's like, you've broken the law. See, if I was a good guy, I would pay tribute and be like, okay, I'm sorry for what I did, but I'm not a good guy, so I'm going to brandish my weapon take this guy out. You know what I mean? And so that's the art style, though, wrapping that up. Really good. Um, really pop. A lot of oranges. A lot of, a lot of very Greek mythy, and I love it. So next thing, let's talk about the exploration and combat. So this game is very keen on exploration. It's a very Metroidvania-like style game. You have about 12 different areas you, you can go to and fully explore, and there's hidden chests and hidden powers and hidden side quests that you actually have to basically find yourself. You'll have subtle hints on where these things are at, the game... At no point does it hold your hand or tell you what to do, except for the main objective. It'll show you the marker, but when it comes to the side quests and finding some of the awesome other weapons, like I'll show you here, uh, I got all these weapons. I can use whichever one I want against these guys. These are like side weapons I found that I just found from exploring, so it's, it's really nice in that aspect where you, you have all this at your disposal, to if you want to make your character really good, you can, and I encourage you to do that if you play this game. Explore as much as you can, and get out of, as much as you can out of it, because there's a lot more than meets the eye when it comes to this game. And I, I, I love it for that. And again, the, the main quests are you just taking out the gods, but a lot of the side quests are funny, like the Dionysus vineyard, you have to like, beat Dionysus at this drinking game and drink like 10 bottles of wine under a minute and then if you do that you impress him so much he uh, gives you a power you don't even have to fight him so that was really fun or if you go to Hephaestus's forge Hephaestus is like the god of like making weapons if you do his side quest he'll forge you a really badass weapon which I believe is the one I'm using it might not be though but he gives you a really good weapon the, what I like too is there's sort of a weapon uh, destruction system in this game so your armor and weapons do get wear and tear so you either have to purchase a new weapon or find one out in the wild. As you can see in the bottom right corner, this one's about halfway used, and once it used, it'll break on me. Um, shields do that too, but shields take quite a bit. And as for your armor, you can upgrade it at your local little shop. You know, there's, there's this is the first area of the game. The second area, it's a little bit bigger. There's more to explore, but there's shops in both of the areas. And yeah, I'm going back to my Thunderbolts because they're way more fun. So, but the whole game I was basically sporting, you know, a sword and a shield, and you have these blast stars you can throw, basically, you know, like little grenades. So you have a huge wide array of weapons to get around this world and to fight all the enemies. And the enemies do vary depending on where you're at with the exploration and, and the side quests. So let's talk about the combat a little bit. So you've seen quite a bit of it. It's very fluid. It feels very nice. Uh, no points. Well, there was a few points where I was like, really? Oh, oh my God! Look at this! <laughs> look at this weapon! <laughs> it's like it's like Thor's axe, but we're in the Greek mythos here. But yeah, it's um, it's just really great stuff. The combat, it, it's just a lot of fun. It's really hard to get used to. I won't lie, this game is made for PC, so porting to a PS4 it ports all right, and the combat's gonna take you a a few probably stages, honestly, to get used to before you're actually really comfortable with it. But once you get the flow and ebb of it, it's actually a lot of fun. Especially there's some boss battles that are crazy. Like Ares was a crazy boss battle. It was like just toe-to-toe, -to -toe, knuckle to knuckle, brutal, beating the crap out of each other, and I loved it. So I love that. I love the music to this game too. It's got a very, again, Greek mythos soundtrack with a lot of uh, a lot of horns, a lot of um 
sometimes there'll be some violins, a lot of harp, a lot of harp in this game, a lot of very good, some guitar music that fits the stage and brings this world to life and makes it a lot more believable than it normally would be. And a lot of choral music as well, as you can hear right now. And it's just, it's not the best, but it, it does its job well enough to make this world much more believable. Oh, I, I can't go somewhere else. It won't let me fast travel, but I'm going to go to the Fields of Demeter to show you sort of that this is a um, completely different area. It looks way different than the previous area. Obviously, we have the same color palette, but the farther we go, it might not let me go all the way in. Yeah, there's Demeter, so she... She's just kind of chilling. If you talk to her early on in the game, she'll give you a quest. Uh, to, uh, I believe it's a side quest, or she'll tell you basically where to go. I also need to heal and fix my armor, which is something you can do in this game. You can drink these little potions to heal, and then fix your armor. So it's really nice whenever you need to. Just do that. Again, I'm making it look easy, because I'm at literally before fighting Zeus for the last time, so I have everything at my disposal. Uh, but yeah, so far, yeah, I, I loved the story, and I loved, real quick, how they handled the Greek mythos in this game. This is probably the best Greek mythos game I've played. Yes, I do love God of War, but God of War did have a lot of fictionalized Greek mythos in it. This goes off of, like, actual Greek mythos, so you really get to meet a lot of different gods and what they represent, and what, how they're not really... These aren't, aren't good gods, right? They're very against humanity, they they like to do what they want, they love debauchery, they love stabbing each other in the back, they love it's all sorts of crazy shit that they're into, and it makes them very believable and, and sort of interesting to, to be around and talk to, and it's it goes into a lot of uh, older, old, old Greek, Greek myth um, stuff that isn't really represented in games, but they do it in this game very well. So without giving too many spoilers, I'll just say that. So I, with all that, guys, love the story, love the exploration and combat, love the music. Now, what I don't like, there's a couple things I don't like about this game. Um, sometimes the platforming in this is very unfair and just feels very off. So, like, like jumping doesn't feel the best. I do have a move where I can, like, jump and flip. That's one of the powers I got for doing a side quest. But say if I need to get up here, it feels kind of clunky. Um, there's certain parts in the game, like when you get to Athena, who's the goddess of sports and sort of showmanship and, um, all that. You know, she's the reason the Olympics exist and all that. But... Basically, her stage is nothing but platforming, and it's pretty torturous, because the jumping in this game is, like I said, not handled well, feels clunky, and you'll find yourself basically either having to start over a lot of the time with the jumping sections, or you'll have to just kind of just gr grind your teeth and get through it, which is what I did. So that feels a little off, and it, especially the last stage when you're fighting Zeus, there's a lot of jumping, there's a lot of hard, long jumps, and it doesn't always work out smoothly or the way you would want it to. So that's something that could have used work. There is a glitch in this game that I hate, too, I want to talk about, that are pretty big, that aren't... One of them is game-breaking, the other isn't. One is you can get stuck in certain places, and I hate this in games. This is one of my biggest gaming pet peeves, is when you jump or you can go somewhere in this game, for example, if I wanted to, I can usually, you can explore up and you can also explore down, as you can see I'm pointing in the map. So to do that, I kind of have to go to a transparent spot like this and jump down. Sometimes when you do that and you'll get into a tight spot, your character might actually get stuck and there's no way out. So you either have to reload an autosave or you have to basically try to get out, but some, sometimes you can't get out and you're literally stuck and that, that bugs me a lot about this game. Other than that, I mean, that's not really minor. I was going to say it's minor, but it's really not. That's something that really should have been fixed, or at least patched out by now. And, of course, the other, I'm, I was going to say, glitch that's in this game is this game likes to crash. This game, especially near the end, crashed on me about every hour and a half. It was just crashing on my PS4, and I recently rebuilt my database. I cleaned up my hard drive, so there's no reason it should be crashing on me. Games usually don't crash on me hardly ever on my PS4, but this game, likes to crash, so be fair warned that this game will crash on you because of that reason, save very often. Again, it, it shouldn't crash, I, I don't like the fact that it does. 
But that is something I really don't like, is the game crashing. Now, that's it, though. For as I don't like the rest of this, guys, I really enjoyed this game. I felt like it was a fun experience. It's rather short. You'll clock in at about 8 to 10 hours. Uh, you can finish it probably in less than that if you don't explore, but full the exploration, doing all the side quests, 8 to 10 hours. Real quick, as a, you know, these guys are cool, so I'm going to leave them alive. Um, if they were a normal citizen like that, I just wouldn't care, because I'm evil. It's pow, pow. Nobody gets away from my wrath of Alexandrios. <laughs> but, no, for, for real, yeah, this game I really, really enjoyed. I, I didn't, at first I didn't really like it when I first tried playing it, and then that second time through, and I find this a lot with games, that second time through that I gave it a sort of second chance before just not deciding not to or to not to play, that is the question. I decided to play, and I had a lot of fun. But as I said, I'm a trophy hunter, so I don't play games just for trophies, but if there's a game with a lot of trophies, and to my opinion, an obtainable platinum, I'll go ahead and get it. I did platinum this game. Uh, if you're a trophy hunter, this isn't a hard platinum, but it's work. It'll take you, take about 20 hours to platinum this, because you have to basically do everything in the game. But it's worth it, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, it didn't really frustrate me too bad. I was able to do it in about a two days to platinum this game, so it's a good platinum, so let's do a quick recap, guys. What I loved was the art style, the exploration and smooth combat, and the great soundtrack. What I didn't like was some of the janky platforming and sometimes the character animations, um, getting stuck in random spots I shouldn't get stuck in, and how the game crashed on me. Other than that, guys, this is a good game. I give this to Miles Lonely Michael Silver Seal of Approval. That's even higher than Evil Thin 2. Isn't that sad? Because, yeah, like I said, I encourage you to go back and watch my Evil Thin and then Evil Within 2 videos to see my full thoughts on those and all my other um, what I just played because I do a lot of these I've been doing a lot more lately because I've had the time so expect a lot more of these these are so much fun I love doing what I just played so yep silver seal of approval for me if you don't know what that means I go by bronze silver gold or platinum platinum being like a game that's a game changer that's one of a kind we get like once in every five years gold is I really loved it I'd play it again I probably will never get tired of it silver is I, I loved it I liked it a lot but I'm probably not going to revisit it, but I had a lot of fun playing it. Bronze is a game that was just okay. I had some fun playing it, but I had a lot more issues with it than I did fun. And if I say it's terrible, and if it goes lower than bronze, I'll just say, I'll tell you, don't even bother with it and never play this game. So this is silver, guys. A Papillon, a Potheon, however you pronounce it, check it out. Uh, it goes on sale every once in a while. I'd buy this game for about 10 bucks. I'd say it's worth. Give it a shot. You might like it. So with that, guys, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you stayed here till the end. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. You're the best. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me in the future. And hit me a comment about uh, what do you like about Greek mythology, what do you like about this game, or how do you think this game compares to like, the original God of War, because there's a lot of similarities in the story, and sometimes in the gameplay, let me know in the comments below, I'd love it. So as always guys, thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me this past half hour, I love you for it, I am Miles Lonely Michael, the one, the only, and I will see you next time, me along with Patheon, we are signing off.